Every five minutes, someone will be diagnosed with a gynecologic cancer. September is Gynecologic Cancer Awareness Month, and it's important for women to be aware of the risk factors associated with the disease. So joining us this morning is Dr. Yvette Williams-Brown, an oncologist with UT's Livestrong Cancer Institute. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning, Dr. Brown. Thank you. I want to start out by just explaining to our audience what gynecologic cancers are exactly. So gynecologic cancers are cancers in women that are below the belt. So they can affect a woman's gynecologic or reproductive organs and would include cancers such as ovarian cancer, uterine cancer, or endometrial cancer, and cervical cancer. Okay, so how would a woman know if she has one of these cancers? It's an important question. The important thing to remember is that a lot of these symptoms can actually mimic that of other conditions that are actually not cancer. So for ovarian or fallopian tube cancer, some of the common symptoms the women may present with are things like bloating or pelvic pain, having urinary frequency, or feeling full quickly. So obviously these are symptoms that can be associated with other conditions, mm -hmm. but it's the persistence of having these symptoms that are important to see a doctor or a provider about. For other cancers such as cervical cancer or endometrial or uterine cancer, these women may have abnormal bleeding and this should be evaluated by a healthcare provider as well. Okay, so are there any preventable treatments for these cancers? That's an excellent, excellent question. Um, some of the prevention measures can be in the form of vaccine. So for instance, with cervical cancer, we do know that the majority of those cancers are caused by HPV. Mm -hmm. So that is a very important way to prevent the infection that can cause the cancer. There's also ways to screen for these cancers as well. And in, in general, most cancers, we can um, help reduce the risk by maintaining a healthy lifestyle, maintaining a, a healthy weight, and exercising regularly. And of course, I'm sure seeing your doctor regularly, getting those yearly exams. Absolutely. Um, so doctors and clinicians at UT Austin specifically, how are they caring with people with gynecologic cancer? Yes, so at UT Health Austin Live Strong Cancer Institutes, we're able to offer a wide range of services for women, including diagnosis, screening, mm -hmm. prevention, and care, as well as care beyond including survivorship. Great. Well, Dr. williams Brown, thank you so much for being here for us this morning. Thank you for having Appreciate me. Appreciate it. And here at KXAN, we're committed to helping you learn about your health, along with our partner, the American Heart Association. So for resources and easy tips to live healthier, just head to kxan.com and click on Simple Health.